Hi Sabers, GH here. Today we're gonna do an Archer card guide because a lot of people are asking. So, let's do this. And before we start, I know there are more cards on the way, so keep in mind as of making this video that there will be new cards in the future and it will not be included in this video, of course. So calm your PP. <laughs> We're just gonna make a new video when something relevant comes along. Let's start with the red card. And for mobbing, it's Winona Ende card because it increases damage when enemies are in a 100 range distance from you. Use 3 Winona Ende card for better results. And if you're wondering how far is 100 range from you, let's keep it simple. It's about this range. Yeah. <laughs> if you want something more precise, here is Leap with 100 range. And let's use it. As you can see, it's about the distance of these stairs from end to end. If you want to see it in action, here it is. Here is me attacking one monster with a sub weapon and I'm dealing about 35k give or take. That's the average. And now here is me attacking the same kind of monster but with 7 or more monsters around me. And as you can see, the damage is about 40k average. So if you're doing a lot of mobbing like challenge mode and all that good stuff, you might as well use a Winona Ende card. Now for single target. And we're still in the red card part of the video. And the way I approach this is I change the cards I use depending on the type of the monsters I'm fighting. Like for example, when I'm fighting an insect type, I use 3 Schaefer card. An example of an insect boss is Tantalizer and Moringpongnya. Here's the indication that the boss is insect type. And when the monster is a beast type like Skiaclips or Velcofer, I use Boob Fighter card. Here's the indication that the boss is a beast type. When it's mutant like the X-Men, <laughs> like the White Witch boss, I use Curse Devil Glove card. Here's the indication that the boss is an X-Men. And when it's demon type, I use 3 MOA card. Here's the indication that the boss is demon type or sometimes it's called devil type. Demon and devil is the same. And yeah, I almost forgot, when the boss is plant type, I use 3 Iltis work card. Using an Iltis work card rarely happens, only on weekly we boss raids. Now, I know there are more red cards that can exploit types, more specifically element types, but the monster types are the most easiest to use, so just stick with that. Now, if you want a more general approach that can work with mobbing and single target, you might want to use 3 Prison Cutter card. And what it does is increase the damage taken of enemies that are bleeding. And you usually pair 3 Prison Cutter card with a 3 purple card called Raja Pearl. Because Raja Pearl can make enemies bleed. Here is a preview of the damage increase of Prison Cutter card. And here's the average damage without bleeding. And here's the average damage when the enemy is bleeding. And by the way guys, if you have a skill that inflicts bleeding like Broadhead, that also works. There's a poison equivalent of this, the Velnia Monkey card and the Bitter Regina card. You get the point, right? The Velnia Monkey card increases damage taken of poisoned enemies, and the Bitter Regina card has a chance to poison enemies. But those are the red cards and some purple cards. Now let's do the purple cards. And you guys already know the Raja Pearl card and Bitter Regina card, right? Now when you're not using a Prison Cutter card or a Velnia Monkey card, and you're maybe using a Winona card or a monster type card, a good card to go along with those is the May card because it increases crit rate. Another good card is 3 Gazing Golem card or you can do 2 May card and 1 Gazing Golem card. Now for the blue cards, it's either Zaura card or Nua Ele card. Depends on the kind of attack you want to counter or what kind of armor you're using. For me, I just use 3 Nuva Ele card because most hard hitting attacks are magic attacks. There are contents that throws a lot of physical attack on you like challenge mode, you're always in a corner just getting hit by basic attack and having a higher physical defense will work better there so Zaura card for those. Another newer card is the Felicia card. This is mainly for boss fighting and if you're like me, 
who's only worried about bosses in game, the Felicia card will be the choice for you. Now for the green card, I use mainly strength card, more specifically the Rashua card. You can use the dex equivalent if you want to, but for me, I rather have a sure damage increase. Now for the legend card, ideally use a level 10 Buruta card at all times. But yeah, I know, that's a lot of P2W money. <laughs> so anyway, you can also use a Heretic Phantorex card if you're fighting beast types, a Ski Eclipse card when you're fighting insects, then Glacia card when you're fighting mutants, Telharsha card when you're fighting plants, and if you want a more general approach, you can use Marnox card that gives minimum critical hit. And if you want more physical defense, you can use the legendary version of Zaura card. And if you want more magic defense, you can use the legendary version of Nua Ele card. And that's it guys, hope this helps. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.